contrary to what Donald Trump says, we're blessed with so many fine courses and country clubs here. Recently, our Chicago District golfer cameras went inside one of the area's most prestigious facilities for the unveiling of an historic golf exhibition. As part of a larger renovation, Exmoor Country Club decided to showcase its rich 115-year history. The result is this impressive Heritage Hall. Our goal was to try to gather as much of the essence of the club and its important achievements and events that have taken place here and bring it all into one spot to, to begin then to look at it, to evaluate what our uh, history collection really is uh, with the goal then port to portray it here in this hall. Exmoor's chairman of the history committee, Don Holton, knew the club had a significant collection of memorabilia. The trouble was figuring out what to do with it. Dr. Andrew Much, a curator and former director of the USGA's museum in Far Hills, New Jersey, was brought in to help conceive, assemble, and assess the exhibits. A few important discoveries were made along the way. During our process, we found out that the founder of the club, um, Alexander, uh, who's a real mover and shaker, uh, ran water lines to the Greens in 1897. This is like decades before anyone else has irrigated the Greens. They found a rare 1894 Douglas Adams hand-colored lithograph hidden in the women's locker room. And perhaps the most exciting of all, they discovered C.B. McDonald played a role in designing Exmoor's first nine holes back in 1896, along with H.J. Tweedy and H.J. Wiggum. McDonald's one of the early giants of the sport in this country and founded the famed Chicago Golf Club. The very fact that we have a highly credible source telling us that C.B. McDonald helped lay out our first nine holes is somewhat of a badge of honor and we're, we're very proud of that fact, and we represent that here in the hall. There are six themes represented in the cases. The founding of the club in 1896, curling and winter sports, social and sports activities, the club's civic spirit through its support of the war efforts in World Wars I and II and Evans Scholars Foundation, the Marshall Field Cup competition, and the club's three winners of the U.S. Amateur Championship. But the centerpiece of the exhibit is the Marshall Field Trophy. Yes, that Marshall Field. He had the golf bug and created an inner club competition back in 1900, awarding the cup to the winner. The competition lasted for just nine years, and after Mr. Field's death in 1906, uh, it was determined that in 1909, that year's competition would be the final one, with the victor that year retaining possession of the cup. And we're proud to say that the Export Club, led by uh, H. Chandler Egan, who was the top amateur in America at the time, winner of two U.S. Amateur Championships, along with his teammate Chick Evans here at Exmoor, and three other individuals brought home that Marshall Field Cup and this wonderful jeweled uh, silver and jeweled cup has been here at Exmoor now for 101 years. The cup itself, says Dr. Much, is the most important piece of this collection. It's a beautiful sterling silver cup. It was designed in 1902, and it has exquisite um, etching and engraving on the outside of the cup that, it, that features leaf and foliage design and flowing ribbon and a pair of crossed golf clubs, period golf clubs from the era. It's stunning, and in addition to that, um, it has encrusted jewels around the base of this trophy. It is literally one of the top three trophies I've ever seen in my life.